hello, hello. I wanted to share with you today how you can create your own design template in Microsoft PowerPoint so that when you begin a new presentation, you've got all the elements that you want to have handy, set up and ready to go. Colors and layouts and things that make sense for you and your brand. So here I have the the um, blank slide. If you were going to do this and you already had something kind of set up, go ahead and start with that. If you did uh, File New and you had one of these already started templates that's pretty close to what you want, but you want to tweak it and add your logo, go ahead and start with that. I just want to start with a nice clean one so we can focus on what we're doing. Now you can also go in, when you pick new slides, that drop down has several different layouts. And you can set up your own layouts and the layouts can have different elements on them. So we're gonna go under the hood, behind the scenes and go to View, Slide Master. I bet you've used a Slide Master. Maybe somebody sent you one that they wanted you to use for a conference or a program and this is how they set up those behind the scene elements that you try to click and get rid of and you can't get rid of them it's because they're on the slide master so this is a special view I can see I'm, I've got a ribbon for it and what it is it's a hierarchy of the master slide and then the different slides slide layouts underneath and so let me just start with, let's say we want to put like a logo on this. Um, we could do that. If you put it on the master slide, it will repeat onto the other slides. Let's start with that and see what you think. Let's go to, we'll use one of the icons, the stickers. Let's put one of the kitty cats on there. Insert him in. Now what you'll see is when I put him on the main master slide, he repeats all down through all the slide layouts. Okay, so keep that in mind if you want a repeating element, but sometimes he's too busy on some of those. Let's, let's take him off of this one. We'll cut him. And let's say I only want him on certain styles. Let me brand this one instead. And let me make myself a little scarce there. And on this slide, let me paste him and see he can be just on one slide. He doesn't have to be on all the slides. And then let's say I want some little graphic elements. Maybe I want to put some kind of little colored bar along the side. I can insert that. Let's do a shape. Let's do this. And let's just put a very simple color branding on the edge okay when I do it on the master it repeats to all the others I can pick up I've got some um, colors uh, let's just let's just leave it blue for now that'll work and then uh, from here what if I wanted to this is a common one do you go to every slide and maybe make the title a little bigger how about we just fix it on the master slide so that it's bigger on all of them and bold. See what that did? It did every single slide style. Now, sometimes we want to take a, a style and maybe copy this one. Let's duplicate this layout and maybe do some different things on the different uh, different slides. So you could do that. Let's maybe make a bit of a background on this one. Let me do Slide Master. And by the way, if your theme and colors and fonts are not right, fix them in here. Let's play with these just a little bit. You can do all of these back here See, that picked up the theme that I've saved in my Microsoft that is more closer to my brand colors. You want different colors? You could choose them. You want different fonts? Pick them here. Maybe different effects? 
do it all here. And once you get it the way you want it, go ahead and close this slide master. I will say you can you can customize all these layouts that you want. A few other items within the slide master. You may want to build your own slides and set up placeholders for different uh, elements to put on that slide. So say I want to build one that is specifically for charts with a little um, uh, text on the side. So you can actually insert a, a layout. I did a right click there. And then what I do is insert placeholders like let's do a chart. And we'll just do a little um, sidebar of text with it over here. Okay, so you can you can do whatever layouts you want. Um, this is all happening in the slide master and you are in control of it. Now the trick is with the slide master, when you are done with this thing, you've got to close it. And then when I leave it, I am back in the, the main PowerPoint normal view. And then I will go and check out some of my layouts. Like I want to check out how is the one where I added the kitty cat logo. He's there, he's ready to go. Now this is something, and I'll move myself there. You, if you try to click on that kitty cat or that bar on the side, you cannot get rid of that from this normal view. I have figured out I can go to design, format background, and here you can hide the background graphics. And that gets rid of like that blue sidebar and the um, the kitty cat logo there. Um, and here I could actually change up what the background is like as well. If you wanted to do that, you could do that as well. So a lot of choices, but if you set it up so that it is mostly formatted, then you have a lot less fussing to do when you are working on your project. Now, once you get it built, and, and look, the kitty cat is still there. If you insert more slides and another slide of that variety, then um, those elements come back on the new slide. So it's just one at a time you're hiding those background graphics. Now I'm going to go on to the file menu and save this as a template. So I'll browse. And then what is important you'll do here is go ahead and change it to a PowerPoint template file. Don't just save it as a regular PowerPoint presentation. Put it as a template and let it put it in the custom office templates. Um, and we'll call this Dawn Blue Sample. And OK, we'll save it. And what's going to happen now We'll go ahead and close this one up, and I've got other stuff in here, but let's go ahead, File New, and instead of the blank presentation, come on down here to Personal, and there's the Dawn Blue sample, and it starts me with that one, and I can create from there, and now I am ready to go and build my show, and I've got all that just set up and at, at the ready. So hope that saves you a few steps and you don't have to recreate the wheel every time you want to start a new PowerPoint and put all your branding elements and your company's logo and colors on there. So have a great day. Thanks.